you're looking at VMware Workstation, July 2014, beta. And in this build, the performance is rather slow because debug is turned on by default. I'll demonstrate that slow performance, particularly uh, read speed or coming out of suspend mode. If we look at my Windows 8.1 task manager here, a live look at my C drive, you'll see pretty poor read performance, particularly for a solid state drive. So I want to show you a way to temporarily disable debug mode to get a serious performance boost to really kick the tires on this, the features and functions of this beta. Okay, so you saw the speed, pretty poor, took quite a while. Admittedly, this is a large VM, but I want to show you this is not a caching effect or some sort of transient uh, first time thing. Uh, it was way faster on version 10.0.3 of VMware Workstation 10 that I've been running for quite some months using this uh, VM on a daily basis. So this is bad. Uh, and um, here it is July uh, 10th, and I found a way to quickly get around this. So we don't need to uh, reboot, but we do need to pause the VM. Before I go ahead and pause the VM, I want to show you in the directory where the virtual machine lives, you have a VMware log file. If you look at the first line, you'll see option beta. That's your indicator that debug mode's on. The other is you might get a warning when you go to start the VM. It'll say something like, do you realize debug mode is on? And you click accept. I already cleared that message. I was getting tired of it. All right, so let's pause the VM. Like I said, we would need to do. Let's shut down or close VMware Workstation. And let's bring up the directory that VMware Workstation lives in. C drive, 64-bit OS, it's gonna be in this folder. And I'm gonna do a filter, VMware start.exe. Now it jumps out at me. This is the debug file we wanna rename. So I'm gonna right click, choose rename. I can hit the end key on my keyboard. Type something like that. Gives me a warning, are you sure? Yes, and then administrator permission. Click continue. And that's done, let's just relaunch the product. And watch this. Watch carefully, my mouse is showing 19 megabytes per second, briefly, but wow. What a difference in speed, right? Every time. It's not exactly subtle. I will point out, if you were going to be doing a bug report of a serious bug, like something where you collect support data for VMware support, this is not going to be too useful for you to uh, turn off debug mode. They would need you to have that on before you submitted a bug report. But in my case, if you're doing feature and function testing, like audio is stuttering or triple monitor support didn't seem so good, um, I really wanted to turn off debug mode. So I'm glad I found a quick and easy way to do that. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com.